you caused, since you're so unwilling to do it yourself. <sighs> you're right. I was unwilling. I made my choices in all this. I loved her, yes. I loved her terribly. But now, it seems I'm merely delaying the inevitable. Go then. Go to her. But should harm befall her, I shall bring my worst wrath upon whomever is to blame, including you. What? You're letting me go just like that? You're just afraid of getting struck down again. You're serious. Go. Before I reconsider. Goodbye, Father. What is all this? Oh, Zagreus, I almost missed you. Truthfully, I hoped that I could make it a surprise. Make what a surprise? My arrival. I'm going. To your home. To Cerberus. Nyx. Your father. You're... really? Mother, you... you're serious? I am. Now, if you could just help me pack up my remaining things... Only a few loose odds I'm bringing, just in case. If we hurry, maybe you could join me, rather than return the customary way. Not something a mother ever wants to see. Join you? But wait, how are you going to get back? I hadn't thought that far ahead. Just so happens I know somebody who can give us a ride. Charon? Doubtless he has pressing matters to attend to. So let's not keep him waiting any longer, son. Come on, then. <sighs> I'm still alive. But how? You're on the River Styx. No longer in the mortal realm entirely. I can't believe that this is happening. I know. My heart is racing. Nothing like a river journey to remind oneself that there's no turning back. Seriously. Though, even after all of this, it's like we only just met. I have so many questions for you still. We'll have plenty of time for them, I think. For now, best we keep quiet. Pretend we're just a couple of dead souls on their final voyage.
here. We're here. This is embarrassing, but I don't know the way to get back in. Except, you know, the customary way. That's quite all right. I do. In the name of Persephone the Queen, open the gates! I spent many days tending this garden. Or nights? Quite difficult to tell the time here. But it's held on longer than I would have expected. <gasps> Cerberus? Persephone. I... Cerberus! I missed you so. And dutiful as ever, aren't you? I'm sorry. Know that I am sorry. Hades. You look tired. Though I am not the only one you ought to be apologizing to. I know. I know why. Why have you returned? If Olympus, if your mother discovers what happened, not even Zeus, not even he could stop what would transpire here. Oh, I have a thought or two about how we can settle that. Though I shall need for you and Zagreus to cooperate with me on a solution. Or, if you'd rather, I could just return the way I came. A solution? What, do you intend to have them over for Ambrosia? Not even you can fix a broken family, Persephone. You're right, Hades. I can't. Certainly not by myself. So are you going to help me or what? I would do anything that you would ask of me. Then first, talk to your son. Hmm. Zagreus, you have already met Persephone, our queen. I expect for you to show deference to her at all times. Wow, father, you called me by my name. What is this strange sensation that I feel? Perhaps it's this deference of which you speak. Oh, stop it, both of you. Don't make me regret this, Hades. Speak honestly with him. About yourself, not me. Go on. Yes, I... Zagreus. I know there have been times when I've let my mood reflect on you. I showed very little patience. Question your judgment, often when my own was flawed. Thus, I apologize to you, my son. I have no excuses. And I ask no forgiveness. What about the part where you lied to me about Mother? Do you apologize for that? Your foul moods inventing them on me. I've long since come to expect that from you. And I resented you for it. But I always thought... You're honest. Your mother did not come here willingly when we originally met. When she left, believing you were stillborn, her decision was final. I believed that she was better off without the lot of us, Olympus included. Deceiving both of you. It tore against my being, but it needed to be done. Well, you didn't need to vent all that inner turmoil onto me throughout my life. Though... I think I understand. I only wish I could have understood sooner. So, uh, what now? I've grown so used to ransacking your domain, I think I'm really going to miss it. About that. Your ransacking revealed many flaws in our security. The types that never get into reports. Our reputation rides on there being no escape from here. Would you keep trying to break free? Not for my sake, but for this realm, for the Queen. Zagreus, if you keep fighting out of here, it shall help keep appearances that everything is as it always was. Question, Father. Let's say I accept. When next I reach the surface, is it still going to be you waiting up there? Ah, oh, boy. If you think for an instant that I shall go easier on you because of this, you'll soon learn otherwise. 
So I just battle to the surface and repeatedly kill my own father then? You have it half correct. Perhaps you'll also tend to my little cottage while you're in the area. The garden doesn't take much care at all. I'd like to keep the place in decent shape. In case I cannot suffer this for long. <laughs> well, I guess I'll see what I can do. Just do the best you can. And clearly I've work to do as well. We have a lot of it ahead of us, I'd say. So, shall we get started then? Thus was Hades, feared ruler of the dead, reunited with his long-lost bride, Persephone, the queen. And together with their firstborn son, Prince Zacrius, they would go on to reign eternally beneath the earth in relative harmony. The queen's return marked an occasion of enthusiastic joy, so much as possible in that dark, gloom-filled realm of the dead. And even after all this time, Olympus never did discover what transpired there, in the underworld. After all this time, it's only been a few days, but it's been good. Mother and father are back together, made some new friends, got this fancy painting. Easy. All is well in the underworld. <laughs>